You know, there was definitely some frustration out here about Sempra's uh, earnings report, about $3 billion for the company overall and $1.75 billion here in California alone. So the group uh, Power San Diego did hold a demonstration outside uh, Sempra's headquarters here on 8th Avenue this morning. And here's some of what we heard. SDG&E, out of our community. SDG&E, out of our community. There are nonprofit utilities across this country. All the nonprofit utilities are different, but they share one characteristic. Every one of them is cheaper than SDG&E. And so that was uh, Craig Rose with Power San Diego, uh, which is pushing to get rid of SDG&E and replace it with a nonprofit utility. So more than a dozen people stood outside the front doors of the company today holding signs. Uh, they say they want change. We heard from a woman in her 80s on a fixed income who says her bill more than doubled between January and February. And she says she called SDG&E and couldn't get an explanation as to why. Now, something else that was mentioned today when it comes to Sempra's earnings uh, is the amount that SDG&E G &E made uh, was not separately disclosed when it always has been in the past. Uh, I was told by Semper today they combined earnings of both SoCal Gas and SDG&E uh, for simplification from an accounting standpoint. When asked about complaints about high bills, here's what Semper sent me in a statement. It reads in part, quote, affordability remains top of mind for us as we look to meet regulatory mandates for spending around safety, reliability, and sustainability. We also have programs in place across the Semper family of companies uh, to to improve productivity and efficiency for the benefit of customers. The average bill at SDG&E is the lowest in the state compared to other investor-owned utilities and trends in line with the national average for electric bills. So back out here live, if you would like to read that statement in full, we will have it on our website at cbs8.com. Uh, meanwhile, Power San Diego uh, continues to try and gather thousands of signatures. Kelly Hassett, all CBS 8.